Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Shermat. In this session, we will discuss about another scenario for prepare, prepare and execute a statement, where we will discuss how we can use prepare and execute statement in order to read data from file dynamically. So in short, you can say that yes, we are going to create one program today, uh, which will read the data from file dynamically with the help of prepare and execute statement. Okay, so before we discuss the program or the example, let me show you uh, first the data on which we are going to process this operation. So for that, here I will show you one query, which I am running here. Select star from Shermit one, which is my library name slash, and my file name is students. If I hit enter, you will see there is we. Yeah, so here we have data, uh, student ID and student name. Now what we will do, we will see, let's say if uh, from this data, we want to fetch only the name of the student whose student ID is 100. Okay. Or maybe later requirement got changed and uh, next time we want a name for a student whose uh, student ID is 600. So what we will do in such scenario, we will create one program, SQLRPG program. Uh, which contains some dynamic SQL query and accordingly whatever the parameter we are providing to that particular program accordingly it will uh, fetch out the data okay so let's see the program so here what we are doing this program uh, firstly I have declared uh, this PI diesel PI this is just for receiving the parameter for statement 5 program my program name is statement 5 here I am taking one parameter input parameter which is p underscore student id so p underscore is representing the uh, input parameter and the type of this parameter is character of length 5 below to this we have declared one uh, constant which is sql state underscore valid with 5 times zeros and this constant we are using in order to verify the query once it is executed because whenever we are executing any query it is returning a, a status SQL status and if that SQL status is equal to uh, 5 times 0 or you can say if it is equal to SQL state underscore valid then it means query is executed successfully otherwise we will take the corrective measures like uh, we can show some generic message and we can show uh, like we can uh, show the SQL state so that uh, developer can change the logic or the query as per the need okay afterwards we have declared few variable that we are going to use here in this program first variable is sql st empty which is of type character 100 length so this uh, variable we will use to build the query okay below to this uh, there is an, another variable w underscore student name this variable we will use to retrieve the data uh, like to store the data which we are retrieving from the query and the length of this uh, uh, variable is where where care 255 okay now as we are fetching data in this larger variable 255 so in order to show the data I have declared another variable result variable of length 20 so what we will do after fetching the data we will trim out the name Le let's say there is there is some extra space for, for sure right so we will trim out that data and store it into result and then later result will be populated on the screen afterwards we are setting the commitment control option commit equals to start none okay fine so now from here we are starting uh, with the data fetching so what we are doing firstly we are preparing the string for the statement so this is the variable sql stmt select student name from students where student id is equal to placeholder so this question mark is placeholder so at the time of uh, opening the cursor we will provide the value for this placeholder okay you can also provide various uh, placeholder as per your requirement it is up to you right so just to verify this query always copy paste it here 
and then simply remove the unnecessary lines and in place of this you can put any random ID let's say 600 so you can see it is working fine it means query is okay so if query is completed then we are preparing the statement from the string so here I'm executing SQL to prepare stmt1 from SQL stmt okay this is our string below to this we are declaring the cursor so to declare because statement is ready now right and but so far we have not provided the value for host uh, for this placeholder value right but usually like pre in previous session what we were doing we we created the statement then after after that we, we are just executing it but right now we are declaring cursor for this statement so just write exec sql declare student data which is my cursor name and this keyword cursor for stmt1 after that we are executing the sql by uh, for opening the cursor so just write open student data using and then we are providing the value for the placeholder so using and then in with colon we are providing this value p underscore student id so what it will do it will uh, replace the question mark this placeholder value with p underscore student id now cursor is opened after that we are just executing sql in order to fetch the data from cursor into host variable w underscore student name so fetching student data into w underscore student name after that we will just uh, do the basic validation so here i'm checking for the sql state if sql state is equal to sql state underscore valid it means the query is executed successfully so we are just uh, fetching the w underscore student name and trimming it and then storing it into the result variable because later we are going to uh, print the uh, we are going to display the result if sql state is not equal to sql state underscore valid that means query is not executed properly so what we will do we will go inside else block and display one generic message error and also show the sql state okay so it is up to you like if you want to go and uh, write down the basic validations like um, if end of file occur 2000 is returned from the query so you can accordingly define the message like if uh, sql state equal to uh, 2000 then print uh, uh, then use display command in order to show the message uh, end of file occurred okay but for now just i'm uh, considering only two portion one is for valid and another one is for an invalid and in case of invalid i'm considering all the basic terms okay apart from valid so i just put this uh, generic message with the SQL state so that user can get to know yes this is the SQL state so this is the error and accordingly he can take the corrective measures below to this everything is done like we have fetched the data then we are closing the cursor and setting the INLR to star on okay so this is the end of the program so let's quickly compile it and call it so if I call it directly you, you will see that it return error calling directly it is giving error pointer or parameter error why because we have declared dcl pi right but we are not providing any value to it so it is expecting some input value so for that write c press f4 here you can provide any valid value so i am providing it uh, 600 okay 600 and hitting enter once i hit enter press f10 f10 again you will see it prints this value texture method so let's verify whether it is the correct value or not for id 600 it is correct right all right so similarly if i change the value because we have prepared the we have prepared the dynamic sql query right so for that what we will do let me show you that here what we will do we will uh, simply change this value to any random value 550 so you can see it is returning error and the message is uh, sql state is 2000 which means the query has been ended with because of end of the file okay so this is how we can utilize prepare and execute statement in order to read the data from file 
and it is quite simple we are just doing it dynamically there is no foundation on us to fix anything here in the query we are just taking input parameters and accordingly we are doing the logic okay basic step is you just need to write uh, one uh, you just need to prepare one string then from that string you can prepare the statement after a statement is prepared you can declare the cursor then at the time of opening the cursor because uh, previously we, what we were doing we were just opening the cursor in most of the cases we just opened it right but this time we are also using this keyword using and providing the value for the placeholder okay so value is provided after that we are just uh, executing the sql to fetch the data into the host variable and then we are doing the basic validation if e e sql state is equal to sql state underscore valid we are displaying the result else we are uh, sorry yeah we are displaying the result in else condition we are just showing the error and then closing the cursor so this is how we can easily utilize prepare and execute a statement in order to read the data from the uh, file and if you want to fetch multiple data then in that case you, maybe you can use the data structure according to your condition and then you can fetch the data so yeah that's all for this session i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share method